Hi, my name is Julie McCullough, and my speech is called The Ground Beneath You. It's the dangers of sinkholes. This is to inform you of the need to know of a sinkhole. So, warning, the very ground you stand on could be a sinkhole waiting to happen. Every day, all over the earth, changes are happening that we cannot see with the naked eye. One day, you could be sleeping in your bed, and with no warning at all, you could be sucked into the earth and swallowed whole. Sinkholes are happening often, and some of these holes are just a rain away from forming under homes, businesses, and highways. Imagine having everything you've worked for sucked away into the earth. Recently, you may have seen a man on the news who had an unfortunate ending with a sinkhole as it formed under his bed and sucked him about 60 feet into the earth. His whole family could hear him crying for help, but no one could save him, and unfortunately, he wasn't. they weren't even able to recover his body. And so you need to know what you do to protect yourself, your home, and your family. And so this is to inform you, and how do you know how to protect yourself? What exactly is a sinkhole? A sinkhole is formed in the Earth's surface due to erosion. This is a process called suffusion, and that is two, one of two geological processes caused by a ground surface collapse when the ground underneath starts to erode the ground above the surface becomes too heavy and it caves in so sinkholes can form suddenly or it can take a lot of time and you just never know uh, when the sediment washes away the ground above falls in and this process is always and can be sped up by heavy rainfall or large quantities of flowing water sinkholes uh, vary in both size and diameter and depth and have measured up to 2,000 feet on record. So, so far we know what a sinkhole is, but where are they hiding? Common areas prone to sinkholes often occur where the rock below the surface is a limestone. They off, often find these um, sinkholes in areas that um, have large cave systems and the cave ceiling um, caves in. Also, overpumping of groundwater in urban areas can cause sinkholes, along with areas with high rainfall or seasonal changes in the rain. Um, volcanically heated acidic groundwater can also eat away the rock below the surface a lot faster. Sinkholes uh, can also be created by changes in the land surface. Uh, water uh, main bursts, you may have seen one of those. Uh, man-made drainage ponds or ditches, and oftentimes abandoned mines can create sinkholes. So, so far we have talked about what makes a sinkhole, but how do we protect ourselves from this kind of disaster? Well, first of all, you need to research the area. And if it's known to have cave systems prone to flooding or have heavy rainfall seasons, you need to know the risks, especially when buying a home, land, or preparing to build on soil with common risk factors for sinkholes. Um, definitely, you want to have sinkhole insurance. That's a must if you're going to uh, build or live in an area prone to sinkholes, and oftentimes it's a requirement. Uh, you should definitely, if you're moving to a new area, check with neighbors. Have they had or do they know of anyone who's had sinkholes nearby? You should definitely check the land carefully for cracks, um, maybe standing pools of water. Uh, that could mean that the surface is, uh, there's changes in the soil below. Definitely check the structures for cracks near windows and doors. Look for dying vegetation and definitely hire someone specially trained uh, to check the ground for possible changes. And definitely have this done often as the uh, man on the news that had this done just two months prior to um, his sinkhole. And so that's, you know, definitely something you would want to have checked on often. So, in conclusion, now you know what is a sinkhole and if you're possibly in danger of being a victim. You also know what to look for and can prevent yourself from possibly being a victim of Mother Nature. Thank you and have a good day.